you do? What? Art thou drawn among these on the times? Certainly, Benvolio, look upon thy debt. The big fight we did in one day, uh, they worked really hard. We have excellent cast. I'm, I can't say enough about their concentration and their focus. Uh, but yeah, we figured it out in one day. Um, you know, the fight in Romeo and Juliet is supposed to basically be almost the whole town. You know, everybody in town is fighting. Well, we, you know, we can't do that on the stage. So we, we took as many people as we could get. And um, in this case, it was, uh, we have six fighters um, and tried to make it look like a really big fight. A couple of things make a great fight scene. One, um, and I think it might surprise people who don't know a lot about fighting, I, th I think one of the things is that a fight doesn't move too fast um, because the audience kind of can't keep up with it. They, it has to be just fast enough that it seems spontaneous, but slow enough that the audience can follow the movement. The other thing is, and maybe more importantly, it also has to look safe. Um, I, I've been to a, a lot of fights, I've been to a lot of plays where fights happen on stage, and if the audience feels for a moment that the actors are, could actually get hurt, they are taken out of the, of the circumstance. They, you know, they start to worry about the actor, you know, and we do it consciously or unconsciously. So everything has to be done with confidence and it has to be done in such a way that the audience can relax and enjoy the fight, you know, and how it relates to the story. Um, the most exciting stunts for me are I would say weapon stunts, just fighting with weapons, moving with weapons, it's really exciting because there's that slight fear to it. There's tons of safety training. Um, first thing is we want to make sure that the audience doesn't actually believe that anyone can get hurt during it. So we start off with just learning the weapons, learning the sharp points, what goes where, how not to hold them is a big one. And then we sort of have to be aware of every other weapon on stage so that at all times no one's going to hurt themselves.